Okay guys, Christian has seemingly posted a video of him responding to his allegations. I don't even know why I even saw this. I literally just opened my Twitter page and it was boom. It was right there in front of my face. It was like, okay, why is Christian popping up on my, what, for you page for Twitter or whatever? It is what it is though. So just to give you guys a quick summary of the past, Christian was charged with basically raping his mother who had dementia. For context, his mother, I think is like, 70 years old like she's pretty old and she's suffering from dementia and i guess chris chan had like asked her or something like that to you know does she want to do the deed and he ends up just telling on himself because he thought he had a friend that he can trust saying these type of things so he was on audio recording admitting that he did sexual assault his mother and a little bit later after that he got charged for the crime because obviously not only rape is illegal but also incest is illegal in most states I mean i think you could like do it with like your fourth cousin or something but even then i think that's still illegal and maybe a little bit unacceptable to be honest because blood is blood my nigga it's like we gang make it we blood out i can't hit you you my blood anyway so eventually he got out and um he went back to his mother's house and now he's posting youtube videos dissing us you know he's dropping that fiery ether he's like nas in the booth dissing jay-z chris chan came back with that fire boy somebody give this man a Grammy. So anyways, his next video is obviously about the situation that happened back in 2021. As you can see from the title, send the record straight, there never was any sex involving me in 2021. I think we all know what he's talking about. So I am about to be judge, jury, prosecutor, and um, we're about to look at this man's defense and I'm about to send his ass to jail. And I know, I know, I know, some of y'all probably like Teku, and it's said to prove it guilty, but look at that motherfucking face, bro. This play clean is obviously guilty give this man six stars on gta because that's just how he looks hey everyone hey this is christine weston channel sonic prime here and right now i'm gonna set the record straight so just so y'all know straightforward and blunt to the point the reason i went to jail the charge i was charged with i was innocent there never ever 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 was any sense between barbara and i period barbara that's a funny way to address your mother and on top of that christopher if you're really innocent why did you go and admit it to your friend that you did do it with your mother because we aren't making this story up like we didn't pull this out of our fucking ass this whole story only fucking exists because you said you did this it was caught on audio you were talking to a friend and you said you asked your mother can you you know do it with her and she supposedly made the first move or whatever and you basically did it. Because apparently I don't believe her, I don't believe that Mr. C, any of her past boyfriends and ex-husbands, they haven't really reached in her G-spot really right. there six. I'm not sure with care and caution, so I just give her comfort and talk with her and we just branched out slow and stay and then I, then I, and I encourage her positively, let her make the first move. She wanted to do it. She oh, she did? Really? She made the first move? Yeah. I think she was partially confused at one point, but but then she came around, obviously. But the, it took us a few nights to figure figure out what, what made what go right and what didn't feel right. And Does your mother enjoy it? Yeah. She's having, yeah, she's having a good time, literally. She is? But now you're innocent, like really, nigga. I can already tell this video is about to be a bunch of bullshit. But let's keep watching anyway. I was innocent. I have a few bullet points to go through anyway. I miss you. I mean, where did we go to end up here? So obviously, we got all the haters and fakers and the toxic sinners that really that tried to manipulate me and so much. I mean, just. <sighs> That was a mess of good grief right there. Why did y'all have to do that? You all really erroneously misunderstood me, period. Uh, and just, that was a whole mess up. I mean, shoot, even y'all of y'all with your freaking smut fictions. I know, I'll num I know some of you out of the minority that are the worst. That are the worst. Out of the majority being actually good, okay? 
Ah, uh, you are the minority. You've written those smut fan fictions. You shipped me with Barbara. You shipped me with that sn with that snow lights. What the? What is he talking about? Like, I heard he has some type of like autism or whatever. I'm not too sure, but if that's the case, um, not trying to be disrespectful here, but that shit really is kicking in because I, I'm bamboozled. I don't know what to say, bro. That be I was like, like, what am I supposed to say? Like, he, he calls me a shit fist, shit, whatever the fuck he said. And um, I well, we, cause I'm saying I like, <laughs> like I'm only making YouTube videos, but or you know, so but we manipulated him or whatever. Like, how, bro? Like, what is he talking about? Out here this man's clearly off the rails like i don't know if he's been taking psychedelics but he's not all the way there and i've seen worship and barbara was definitely not the perfect mother with me just it was not the perfect mother-daughter relationship there period just uh, growing up there was the times of abuse even though there was the love and caring in there and throughout but that was a whole different kettle of fish right there uh, but yeah, the bullying, the terrorizing, and all that, they r really fucked me up. I feel so... Just enough said right there. But hey, you're never gonna make me commit suicide, period. And that was the attention that Bella had in all her chopped and screwed up recordings with all the attention and manipulating me into that. But hey, I foreknew she was gonna do that. I tested her. At the time, I only I treated her like, you know, just as a friend, try to get her to be on the good side. But obviously she failed. Just like I foreknew the relationship between Dylan and Taylor, that was not gonna last. He abused her. Christopher, Christopher Chan. Here are some advice. I can't believe I have to tell you this, but just because your mother is not going to win the Mother of the Year award, whatever, you know, you might have went through a lot of stuff, does not mean you get the grape. Okay, I think that's common sense here. And that was the first thing I wanted to say. Now, the second thing I want to say is that nobody wants you to un unalive yourself. Okay, I lied. Maybe a couple of people because you're a rapist. But I think the majority of people much rather see you in prison and facing punishment for your crimes instead of you being dead and just rumbling around in the actual projection of the world or whatever you believe in. You know, we don't want Chris Chan to reincarnate again, so we're going to hold off that process as long as possible. So you need to go to prison, my guy. And third of all, all, Bella was to manipulate you. She didn't manipulate you to say anything. Yeah, Bella was like egging you on to snitch on yourself, but because you're too fucking stupid to realize that, you end up telling yourself and you start acting like, oh, I was testing her and I saw this was gonna happen. I saw the fucking future. I'm Jesus. You know, this is an episode of That's So Raven. But yet, yeah, your stupid ass still fell for the fucking bait. It's like, what kind of stupidity is this? Like, how you gonna sit here and say that you were seeing the future, you were testing her and you knew she was gonna do this? But you bit the bait anyways. It's like you're a fucking dumbass fish. You know, fish who see a worm with the hook on it. You, you know it's a worm. And you know this worm is on a hook that's there to bait you and to become a dinner for somebody else. But you still bite the fucking hook trying to eat the worm does not that make you stupid like what kind of ecological is this bro i'm losing brains now just even trying to comprehend it and explain it to you but then again like what do we expect from a guy who sit here and believes that he's a prophet let me just let me go to jail spend my time suffering and spending the time for your sins you fucking fucking toxic ones Not meditate and learn everything. I am Jesus Christ reincarnated. And I am the one avatar of all existence. And I'm going to see that there is nothing but good and righteousness and light powered individuals and encouraging all the neutrals to be good. Period. Just like I'm trying to do in this video and statement right now, saying the record straight. But I was proven innocent. And they couldn't place me anywhere, which is why they kept me in jail for so long because they didn't know what to do with me. They didn't know what to do with Somebody was freaking autistic! Now you weren't putting your words in! Ish. They didn't know what to do. They just kept me in jail. They, just, they didn't know where to place me. But fortunately, they did know where to place me eventually, so that happened. I'm safe and b doing better, okay? <sighs> But I did nothing wrong, and only the certain individuals online, they had wrongfully manipulated and controlled me and my own narrative, but no more. I take control of my own narrative from now on. Not you. Not you lot of haters and fakers.
Yeah, no more guys. No more controlling narrative about Chris Chan and his allegations. Yeah, it's all bullshit, bro. He's completely autistic. I don't know if I really feel right clowning him because of his autism, even though he has the self awareness to know what's right and what's wrong. So him graping somebody, he's still a complete bitch for that. I'm getting it wrong, but you know, the series trying to clown him. Oh, what's wrong with him? And why does he believe he's Jesus, Jesus, the light beings, and blah blah blah? Uh, I think he's more autistic. He might have schizophrenia. <laughs> For a lineup. And I don't know who's actually ever proven innocent, but I do want to say this. Just because somebody has got proven innocent in the court of law doesn't always make them innocent. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people in this world who's went through the whole court system that's been proven guilty, but whole time they're innocent. Vice versa, there's a lot of people who've been proven innocent when the whole time they were guilty. The court system is not 100% perfect. That's just how it is. So, you know, just put that in mind before we believe this guy, oh, he was innocent. The court found him not guilty. Nope. Just because he got found out guilty does not mean he wasn't guilty. I am a much better individual than that. Y'all should have known better than me than that. Than s that is enough with the mislabelings and the misconceptions. Just that's enough. And the whole lot of the Seth's commentary was me being misled by the suggestion that those individuals, especially those theoretical exes of mine, and I was proven innocent by court of law and released. Simple as that. And also just putting this out there, just do not be an ableist. I mean, those of you neurotypical, thinking you're able, whatever, there is at least one thing that is totally disabled about you, period. So don't, do not hate others for things that you are yourself. Nigga. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's so cute that he thinks he's innocent. Poor Christopher, he's been falsely labeled, accused of things he did not do. He needs his reparations. Y'all send them to me and I'll make sure to give it to her. But on a serious note, guys, I really don't know what to say about the whole situation. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> you know, this man is being the complete narcissist and is taking no accountability at all for his actions. He's trying to gaslight us into thinking that we're the problem and it's not him himself with that was out here doing things and admitting to sexual crimes to his friends and now like we're the bad guys <laughs> you know <laughs> like we're just a terrible human beings we're not the light beings and we're not gonna make it to heaven because you know we're not a follower of jesus's way bro why does jesus sound so familiar it wasn't all religion shit i, I heard jesus from somewhere else so i'm not too sure it might have been some religious shit i'm not sure but yeah budrin that's all i want to say about chris chan he's um, a piece of shit and he's lying to you guys don't fall for the gaslight treatment that he's trying to do right now because he's big cap he's most definitely guilty as shit so if you guys think he's guilty hit that big like button and you know i hope to see you on the next video